The title says it all. The M drive will never work. Now, let me explain myself and explain how science works. First, uh, the M drive was first introduced back in 2001. And it, another name for it is an RF resonant cavity where, where you build a special box and has a certain design configuration. And you bounce a bunch of microwaves or any kind of radiation you really feel like around inside of it. You know, it's, it's like a microwave oven, but instead of cooking food, uh, the claim is that this box will then start moving very, very, very tiny, not a lot of thrust at all. Like not even enough thrust to like nudge a piece of paper, but that was the claim that you could have propulsion without any exhaust that you could say, put this in a rocket ship in the middle of space and just turn it on, maybe microwave your burrito at the same time. I don't know, that's, that's maybe an optional feature. And there'd be no exhaust, there'd be no propellant and your spaceship would just move around. It sounds like magic and it is. Because if the M drive were to work, it would violate a very, very well understood feature of how the universe works. And that is called the conservation of momentum. Now, the science media, science journalists have painted this over the past, uh, you know, two decades as like some sort of big controversy, as a debate, like, oh, some scientists are designing M drives, even though it violates known physics. And like, uh, some people agree with that. And then other scientists are saying, how dare you violate known physics? We know better. And, but then like, oh, those people are dinosaurs. And, you know, of course they don't understand, like there are revolutions in science all the time. And like, there's this massive kerfuffle. Okay. No physicist with an ounce of understanding of how the universe works thought that the M drive would work. No serious physicist thought that the M drive was worth pursuing. Every serious physicist thought that the M drive was a waste of time. Is it because physicists, I, I thought it was a waste of time. I thought it wasn't. I'm one of those. Okay. Is it because I'm a dinosaur and I'm hold closely holding on to chairs concepts of 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 outdated physics and this new experiment is going to turn science on its head you know am i just missing something about the quantum vacuum like it, no it's because that's not how it works i'm going to talk about conservation of momentum there were claims, and there have been claims over the past 20 years, that the M drive like works on some weird quantum level, like like maybe it pushes off like the the quantum vacuum plasma. There is no quantum vacuum plasma, or that like that works off the the vacuum energy of space time. Well, you you can't push off the vacuum energy of space time. Like all of the attempts to explain how the M drive could possibly work within the framework of known physics grossly misstate known physics, right? It, it becomes when you, when I read these explanations of how the M drive could possibly work without violating conservation momentum, and I'm, I'm going to, don't worry, I'm getting there. But if you say, no, 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 it's not really violating conservation momentum, it's working through some weird quantum effects. It just becomes like word salad mumbo jumbo with absolutely no math and absolutely no misunderstanding, uh, no understanding of actual quantum field theory or quantum physics. There's like no real science there. There's no real explanation for how an M drive could work. If you want a box that perfectly bounces around microwaves inside of a cavity, and use that to push around your spacecraft. Either you have to appeal to some brand new physics that we haven't learned before, that we no way knows, and no one's been able to do that, actually describe how this might even possibly work in any kind of sensible fashion whatsoever. Or you have to say, well, maybe conservation of momentum isn't obeyed in our universe. If you want to violate conservation of momentum, go right ahead. Yes, it's true that all of physics could be taken down in a flash that that everything we know about how the universe works could be totally rewritten in a blink of an eye it's happened before i mean it's not really a blink of an eye it usually takes like half a century but it's happened before and it's probably going to be happening again but some things haven't changed some things have not required revision 
In fact, some things have been so fundamental that they become the reasons for scientific revolutions. Some things like conservation of momentum. If you have a, an isolated system, you add up all the momenta of all the players in the system, and then you let them interact and do whatever, and then you look again, you add up all the momenta again, it's the same. This is conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum has been with us for hundreds of years. It was first proposed by Descartes. Newton's second law, F equals MA, actually implies conservation of momentum. You can't have F equals MA without conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum received a major boost in the early 20th century with the work of mathematician Emmy Nuther. She realized that all the conservation laws in the universe are actually uh, related, directly related by mathematical proof, which means you can't argue against it because it's mathematics, uh, to certain symmetries. And, and there's a certain symmetry of nature that if you do an experiment somewhere and then like move it one foot over and do the exact same experiment. And as long as you account for any variations in the environment, like different air pressure or different gravitational field, as long as you account for that, you'll get the exact same result. You can pick up your experiment and put it on the other side of the Milky Way galaxy. And as long as you account for like gravitational field and air pressure over there on the other side of the Milky Way, you're going to get the exact same result. You take it the other side, the exact same result. Exact. There is this fundamental symmetry of nature where physics doesn't care about where you do it. There's this... There's this invariance when it comes to space. I mean, another proved that this fundamental invariance in space, this symmetry in space, is the reason we have conservation of momentum. There's a very beautiful mathematical proof there. Conservation of momentum is such an integral part of physics that it well, it, it is an integral part of physics. When you look at special relativity, when you look at the math of general relativity, if you look at the math of quantum field theory, really, really, it's all just restating conservation of momentum, but with a lot more baggage to, to describe a lot more complicated scenarios. Really, that's it. Really, all of modern physics is stating conservation of momentum over and over and over again in different contexts in different domains. So if you want to claim that I'm being a dinosaur, that uh, my mind's not open enough, that I'm resistant to new physics, so be it. Because if I'm going to make a bet on something in the universe, it's going to be on conservation of momentum. And if you start showing... If you want to show that conservation of momentum is broken or incomplete, fine. You've got a lot more work to do than a little microwave oven pushing around a spacecraft. That's not nearly enough because it's baked into so much of modern science. And modern science has been tested. We've been working on this. We don't believe the things we believe about the universe because we feel like it. It's because it's what experiments tell us to believe. That is how science works. So we've had centuries, we've had thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of experiments verifying the conservation of momentum. One new experiment with questionable results isn't going to do it. I don't think that the M drive will ever work because we have seen absolutely no hints of anywhere else of conservation of momentum being violated and all the potential weird quantum field vacuum energy things that uh, M-Drive proponents claim to make a work to not violate conservation momentum because they know, because you know, you can't just go around running. You can't run around claiming violation and conservation momentum. You have to create something new. All of it is just nonsensical. It's gibberish. It's junk. The M drive is never going to work, folks. As for the experiments that have claimed to demonstrate a result, I'm going to talk about that next week because you know what? Those were also junk. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you tune in next week. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
And please go to patreon.com slash pmsutter to learn how you can keep this show going. And I'll see you next week.